Especially on an Easter Sunday here in Kansas City, I couldn't agree more. And we finally made it to 80 degrees for the first time in 2021 here in Kansas City. So today we uh, broke that day, or we made it to that day, I should say. 80 degrees right now. We got to 82 earlier in the afternoon with a stiff south to southwest wind of 18 miles per hour. Winds should relax a little bit to around 10, maybe as high as 15 miles per hour once we get through the overnight hours. But temperatures by Monday morning should drop down only into the low to mid 50s across the area. There might be a little bit more cloud cover, maybe some high cirrus clouds streaming in overhead, so that may hold us in the middle 50s, and that'll be well above normal. 40 degrees is normal for this time of year for a morning low in April, or this early in April. By the afternoon, we'll be warming right back up to close to the numbers that we saw today. Mid to upper 70s, there may be one, two spots that get up to 80 degrees once again, and wind will increase a little bit through the afternoon. It may get a little breezy at times. We could see gusts as high as 30 miles per hour, just like we did out there today under a partly cloudy sky. Now there is going to be a storm system that arrives as we head through early on in the week as early as Tuesday and moving through midweek. But for live power Doppler, as far as what's happening right now, nothing out there at the moment. We spread the picture out and majority of the country has been pretty quiet with the exception of a couple of showers, even a few thunderstorms moving through western Kansas and portions of Denver and even New Mexico. But it's this area right here we're going to be focused on for our next storm system to approach. It's going to Basically, that area is going to provide us with the uh, energy for the next storm system to develop just outside of Colorado into Kansas. So look right here on forecast track between Kansas and, Col uh, Kansas and uh, Colorado, that is, as this area of low pressure forms. As it continues marching eastward and across the area, it's going to help push in a few showers and maybe even a few thunderstorms as we head through Tuesday into your Wednesday. Now, the cold front associated with the storm system is also going to be sweeping through as we head through Wednesday, which also means a little bit of a cool down. So a break from these very nice warm conditions that we've been experiencing so far in April. Now you notice at Thursday 10 a.m. on forecast track, there might be just enough wraparound moisture that we could see a few more showers produced uh, early Thursday and then we dry out as we head through late in the week. So let me just show you what we're expecting as far as timing and locations of those showers and storms by two, three o'clock Tuesday. There may not be much out there. There could be an isolated to stray shower or thunderstorm that just kind of pops up randomly, but I think the bulk of the activity is going to hold off until late Tuesday night heading into Wednesday morning. A cluster of storms could arrive and some of those storms may be on the strong to severe side. So far, the Storm Predict Prediction Center has only a small section of our viewing area on the southwest corner of it that is under a slight risk for severe weather. What that means is if we get one or two of those storms to get strong or severe, it could provide us with either damaging wind or large hail. Those will be the primary threats from some of those stronger storms. Otherwise, Security Bank 7-day forecast looks like we'll be drying out and cooling down a little bit. So check out Thursday afternoon. We may not get out of 50 degrees. All right, Greg, back to you. All right.